Hello and welcome to TNO TPR and today we're looking at a load of e-liquids from Supergood. Okay, so as I said today, we are looking at a load of e-liquids from Supergood. Now, these are a UK-based company. Um, to be honest with you, I've seen them online, like many of these e-liquid companies, I've seen them on Instagram, stuff like that, but never seen them in the shop. So when they got in contact, I was quite interested to see what they were going to be like, because we'll dive down now. They arrived a couple of weeks ago, show you what I got and what I needed to do in that. But as you'll see, there are some fantastic flavours in there, so I really am hoping for the best. So yeah, let's do that. Then we come back to present times, and we'll give them a try. Okay, so this lot just turned up, and as you can see, this is from a super good. Now they do a ton of different e-liquids, all their own stuff, but they do this range in a normal range like I've got here, which is with normal sort of short fill type sort of system, but they also do it in nick salts as well with 10 mil and 20 mil salts inside it. So worth bearing that in mind. So if these flavors are really good and you're smoking it on a pod or something like that, then it would come in handy for you. They do a few different ranges, but this is this range, which is looking quite decent actually. It looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different flavors. So what have we got? Let's have a look. We have got first off lemon blueberry sponge cream oh that sounds pretty decent so obviously there's zero milligram nicotine 30 percent pg 70 percent vg and it's a 50 mil bottle so basically what that means is inside you will have your 50 mil of e-liquid and vg pg inside it'll leave you a little bit at the top for nicotine to go in normally one bottle of 80 milligram 10 mil bottle will be added to it to give you three milligram e-liquid but yes so that sounds really fantastic so what else we've got so we've got that one we have got blueberry candy floss cookie cream cool but oh there's some real weird and nice sounding flavors going on here so that sounds pretty good we have got butter one which is orange apricot jam almond pastry <gasps> Oh, I'll tell you what, this is sounding bloody fantastic. <laughs> Butter 07, cookies, cream, raspberry, and white chocolate. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we've got Butter 05, which is marshmallow, custard, vanilla cream, and cinnamon. Jesus Christ, this is like they've made these especially for me, this is. This is unbelievable. Butter 08, which is peanut butter, jelly, or grape jelly, cram, uh, bleh, graham cracker, and ice cream. Okay, that's going to be interesting. I've tried a couple of peanut butters and not always been a fan of it. Butter 01, mango passion fruit meringue cream. Oh, what's this one? This one is butter 02. So this is jam, biscuit, meringue, and cream. Bloody, I'm getting excited here. Butter 09. Peach raspberry sort of caramel graham cracker. <laughs> and the last one, which is butter 04, which is chocolate cookie, sweet cereal, ice cream, and milk. Oh man, this, this sounds freaking fantastic. So, oh yes, there is some good flavours in here. Very good flavours. I hope these are as good as I'm as I'm hoping they're going to be. That makes no sense at all, I know, but yeah, you know what I mean, I want them to be good. So right, let's not mess around, I'll stick the nicotine in, no point showing me doing that, it'll just bore the life out of you. And then we'll, uh, I'll probably see you in a week or two once they've had time to sort of settle down and stuff, and uh, we'll give them all a try. Okay, so yes, we are back up, and as I say, that was a couple of weeks ago, so yes, um, there is some fascinating flavours in here, there really, really is. I've just been checking out their site. Obviously, I can't put any links in anything like that, but their website is wearesupergood.com. So if that's what you want to go and have a look at them, then by all means, do check them out. Um, it looks really good. Nice, clean website. Everything looks pretty decent. And they do some bundles as well. So I think, from what I can tell, I've got the complete super good butter collection here, um, which I'm assuming that's what they are, because they all seem like them type of ones. Um, so I'm assuming it's that, but they do some others as well, like the complete super good butter collection, 50 mil. They do it in 100 mil. They do a complete super good Nick Salts ones. They do their super good cocktail collection, and they do that in salts and 50 mil and 100 mil as well. And they also do some other things as well. So they've actually got mystery boxes, which I quite like the idea of actually. If you're not sure what to get, then it's always a nice sort of choice. Um, it is risky, obviously, because you don't know what you're going to actually get and whether they're any good or not, but that is a risk you take. But some people quite like that. Um, but yeah, as I say, they've got some nice sounding stuff. The cocktail round sounds fantastic as well, which I've not got any of them, but there's Cosmopolitan, Gooseberry Fizz, Pornstar Martini, Rum Ting. They, they've got pretty much all the, the sort of top 
cocktails um and if you don't watch the channel you won't know but i do quite like a cocktail um but yeah i reckon i've got the butter collection so yes as far as buying them you are looking um for the eu version um of one for example you are looking it says from 10 pound 49 um but let me click on one and actually see what it says inside in case it's more to it so 50 mil you're looking at 12.49 including that um i'm it comes with your free nick shots as well and you are looking at 19.99 for a 100 ml bottle so it's not the cheapest but it's not that dear either it's about average unfortunately that's just the cost of things nowadays um for a 10 ml nick salt one you are looking at 4.99 that's for a 10 milligram and a 20 milligram is the same 4.99 and they've got prices on here without the vat as well but obviously for me and you it's going to cost us the vat especially here in the uk um, but yes, they all looked really, really good. And um, everything they sent me seems really nice as well. Spoke to them, stuff like that. And yeah, they seem like a pretty good company. But I guess that's all completely pointless if they don't taste good. So I guess we'll get trying them. As always, we should be testing them on my Vanity Vega mod with my Gune RDA on top. Same build I've done from the very, very beginning. Bit of stainless steel wire wrapped six times around a 3.5 mil rod. Like you'd get in any sort of coil master kit. One of these things, you put your put a little bit of cable in it and then you put the top on and you spin it around six times around like that there's two of them it's coming out today at 0 0.26 ohms and i guess we'll uh, we'll get trying them so what one should we start with first let's start with this one we'll just make a random one we have got butter six blueberry candy floss cookie and cream oh, yeah they really are sounding pretty darn good if i'm completely honest with you they sound absolutely beautiful so can I actually, uh, what was it, an 06? I like the way they're all numbered as well. It makes it a lot easier for me to look at it. So let's click on it. What does it say? It says, blueberry cotton candy mingled with rich cream, sandwiched between two sprinkly covered sugar cookies. Oh, that sounds good. It does sound good. But, you know, it's all good, sounding good and looking good. It's got to taste good at the end of the day. Now, as always, these are honest reviews. I will only ever be honest. I will quit the channel before I end up having to say things that I don't agree with. Or that I'm saying just for the sake of keeping someone happy. So yeah, these are all honest reviews. And I will be honest, if they're good, I'll tell you they are. If they're not, I'll tell you they're, they're not. And um, they are personal views, you know. Your view might be completely different to mine. That's the joy of flavours and the world of vaping. But I can only tell you what I know. So if you're not sure whether it's something that you're going to like, definitely worth checking out some of my older videos on a e-liquid that you liked or didn't like to see whether we've kind of got the same sort of flavour range. Because, for example, I love bakeries, cookies, stuff like that. But I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to coffees and tobacco. So, you know, you need to sort of find the person that's right for you. But yes, okay. Um, yeah, okay. Not much else I can really say, apart from the simple fact that obviously the 50ml bottle comes with one nick shot and the 100ml comes with two nick shots. So yeah, not bad at all. Right, let's give it a go. It smells absolutely beautiful. Um, I can kind of imagine one of their marshmallow sandwiches type thing. That's what I've got in my mind, but let's give it a go. Oh yeah, super sweet. I will say that it is very, very sweet. But it is, it is very nice, and it's going to be sweet because it's candy floss, and it does. Initially, you get that sort of blue raspberry candy floss sort of flavour, that very distinct sort of flavour, and it does come across as a candy floss. It's definitely got that sugariness to it, so that is nice. And then yeah, that kind of dies down to the cream, and then you are left with a bit of a a cookie type flavour at the end. The cookie is probably not the strongest flavour, but I don't think it's so much that it's not that strong. I think it's that the candy floss is is so strong, it kind of makes that feel not strong enough, but it, it, it's still nice. You still know there is a bakery tone to it. It's really nice. It really is. The, the blueberries... Is, is exactly as you would imagine a blueberry cotton candy would be. It, it is artificial. It is kind of a fake blueberry, but it's it's nice as well. You're definitely going to want a soup to a sweet tooth flow. If you don't like things that sweet, you, this is probably going to be one to miss, but I'm pretty sure that'll be the same with all of these, but I like a bit of super sweet. So yeah, I don't mind that at all. As always, I'll do my little scoring thing. 10 being it's amazing. Stop watching the video, go out and buy it, and one be throw it in the bin. I can give it an 8 straight away. I'm going to go straight in with the 8. So, yeah, that's not bad at all. Right, next up, let's change the cottons and we will try Butter 05, Marshmallow, Custard, Vanilla Cream and Cinnamon. Okay, so just been loading up, just looking as well. Just thought I'd add, actually, that spend over £20 and you get free UK next day shipping, which is, is really good, actually. Next day shipping as well. That, that's a pretty good deal. Um, right, this one, anyway, is a gooey marshmallow pudding enriched with vanilla custard lashings of vanilla cream and sprinkles of cinnamon 
I don't even know what that's meant to be in real life, but it sounds bloody fascinating. <laughs> I want it. Whatever it is, I want it. Um, yeah, that sounds really good as well. I mean, these, this is like they literally, they picked my mind and made any liquids that I'm going to like. So I probably am going to be a bit biased anyway. But as I say, you know, I will tell you if it ain't no good. And the first one was good. So let's hope this is as well. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, it's not as good as the blueberry cotton candy, and that extra dimension of the the blueberryness was was really really nice. This is more of a almost like a strawberry kind of sensation you get from it, um, and it is definitely more of a marshmallow. It's not as sweet. It's a it's a bit more creamy the whole way through. That first one was like a punch in the face, where this is more like a a pat on the head, shall we say? Um, it's, it's kind of like that. It's a it's not as strong and as extreme as that last one. As far as the cinnamon goes, there isn't a great deal of cinnamon. There's a slight bit at the very end, and it almost comes across as a bit of a harshness. It, it's not, but it's that kind of sort of sensation that I get from it. But that's definitely not as good as the first one. I mean, it's still nice. It's still well worthy of a seven, I will say that. It's just not as good as the blueberry one. The blueberry one, that extra sort of fruit kick to it, was very nice. This is much more strawberry, creamy sort of flavour with a bit of a cinnamon kick at the end, I'd say. Um, but yeah, still a seven, still really nice. I don't mind it at all. Right, next up, let's try Butter 09 Peach Raspberry Salted Caramel Graham Cracker. Okay, so yeah, this is a uh, a proper weird sort of mixture. Um, peach with smashed raspberries, a twist of lemon, graham cracker crumble, and a light drizzle of salted caramel. It's... Again, it sounds absolutely fantastic. It really does. I actually really love the sound of them. Um, yeah, I'm hoping this is again tastes as good as it sounds. So, oh, that smells much more. That does. That smells almost like a a top of a, a apple crumble type thing. It's got that sort of smell to it. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, I will say I'm not normally a big fan of peach, especially when it comes to e-liquids. It, it always comes across as a very fake artificial, almost like them sugary sweets you used to get, which I was never a fan of. Um, but you don't with that. That tastes like a realistic peach. But sort of just before you sort of get time to really think about it, that kind of disappears into a citrus flavour. Um, so it kind of rounds it off perfectly. And it's an initial sort of, again, like a punch to the face, like a blast of flavour sort of thing. And it starts off really, really nice. I'm not getting masses of salted caramel or anything like that. There is a slight caramelness to it, but not sort of major. But the main thing you're getting is once the flavours have sort of just died down, you're kind of left with a nice, a graham cracker type flavour at the very, very end. But yeah, the salted caramel for me is a little bit non-existent, but it's still really nice. It tastes like a peach, which is going to sound really weird, but like a peach citrus crumble quite simply which i've never had never seen but i'm starting to think that i might try and make one because it tastes absolutely fantastic so yeah really really nice i say the sort of caramel is a little bit of a miss but apart from that that's another eight i like that one that's a pretty good one right let's try number four which is choc cookie sweet caramel ice cream milk okay so generous scoops of luscious ice cream mixed with fruity cereal and finished with crumble chocolate cookie <sighs> Oh, yes. I do like a cereal. I do like a cereal. <laughs> so, yeah, this, again, sounds absolutely lovely. I'm assuming a fruity cereal is like a, you know, the old pebbles or a Fruit Loop, something like that going on in there. Ice cream with the creams. Crumble chocolate cookie as well. I mean, that, it sounds, it sounds really, really good. Oh. Mm. That's weird. At first, it's it tastes like a chocolate milk, like a hot chocolate, um, and then that suddenly morphs into a fruity cereal flavour. It's almost like two liquids in one. That's quite strange. It's not kind of blended together and made like a weird concoction. It's like two in one. But I like it. Yeah, it's very strange. 
I'm going to give it a seven, um, just because I'm confused more than anything. If I'm completely honest, um, it's it's weird. It's like a like a cocoa milk, or like say like a hot chocolate. But then, just before you get full time to enjoy that, it disappears in this fruity cereal comes through. It's not a Fruit Loops, and it's not like a Pebbles. It's like a I don't know, like a, a fruity cereal is probably the best way I can really explain it. Um, as far as the cookie side of things go, I'm not getting a great deal of that. I guess that's maybe coming through with the cereal, and that's why I can't quite figure the two out. But but either way, it's, yeah, it's very strange. Um, I'll give it a seven, but yeah, maybe a no. I'm going to take it to a six point five because the others that doesn't give justice to the other one. I gave a seven. I'm going to say a six point five, but that merely is because, as I say, I, I'm just confused. To be quite honest, <laughs> right? So let me change these cards. We'll come back and we will try butter all right, which is peanut butter. Grape jelly, graham cracker, ice cream. Okay, so yeah, this is another wacky one. In fact, I've just realised as well, I should point out, these are part of the award-winning butter range. Now, what award they win, they won, I should say, um, I do not know. It doesn't tell me on here. Um, I'll have a look in a minute and see if I can find out. But so far, I can see why. I mean, just for the sheer types of flavours it kind of deserves to be sort of talked about so I can see that and um, this is going to be interesting to see what this is like I've tried a few peanut butters and they've not always been great I can pretty much count on one hand the ones that have been good and generally they're in the DIY world um, people in the DIY world have absolutely nailed peanut butter and um, main manufacturers seem to be a complete mile away so it's going to be interesting to see what this is like but yeah graham cracker smeared in peanut butter topped with luscious vanilla ice cream a glob of grape jelly topped with another cracker right okay let's give it a go The grape jelly is absolutely beautiful. That's the first flavour you get is this this grape. And straight away your mind almost says like, oh, it's going to be a grape soda. And it doesn't. It morphs into that sugary sort of jam type flavour. That is really, really nice. Um, there is a slight peanut butter in the middle, but it's not massive, which I'm happy about. It's just enough, to again, to let you know that it's, it's got a bit of peanut in there type thing. You might miss that, though, if you didn't know. If I gave it to someone and said, what do you think it is? I don't know whether they'd pick that out. But you, you definitely can taste a tiny sort of resemblance of peanut. Um, and then, yeah, it's that graham cracker type flavour at the end. Um, Yeah, to me, it's more of a, a graham cracker covered in grape jelly. Um, and the grape jelly is absolutely beautiful. I'd have that just as grape jelly. I think that is absolutely really, really nice. I'm assuming they mean jam, jelly being American. But um, yeah, that's really good. The, the grape alone is good. Um, yeah, peanut butter, a little bit missing. Graham cracker, pretty, you know, pretty basic. But the grape jelly, really good. Mm, really nice. Uh, that's another eight. I can't believe that. That's another eight. Right, give me a minute. Let me put the fans on, see if I can get rid of some of this vape, and then we'll get back, and we've got five more to try. Okay, so we're back now, and we're going to try it number seven, which is Butter 07 Cookies Cream Raspberry and White Chocolate. Um, I did put the fans on. I've got four fans now in here that are track fans that suck everything out and throw it outside. But stupidly, I sat there and um, I was vaping on the grape jelly one while I was doing it. So it didn't really bloody help. It was completely pointless doing. But yeah, never mind. Hopefully you can still hear, uh, see me. But yes, this is um, two sandwich cookies filled with raspberry preserved, decadent with white chocolate and a dollop of thick cream. <sighs> now, some people hate white chocolate, but I absolutely love white chocolate. I prefer it more than normal chocolate, if I'm honest with you. So it's going to be interesting to see what this one's like. It is a hard flavour to get across in e-liquids because it can just turn into a cream. So it will be interesting to see how they did with that. But I've got confidence in them. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Okay, it tastes like a... Like a... Uh, they then biscuits. I'll put a picture up. I can't remember what they're bloody called. Like a, not a jam rolly or whatever they are. But it's like that. It's a bit nicer. Venetian or something like that. But yeah, it tastes like a, a nice biscuit with cream and raspberry. I'm not getting much of the white chocolate, if I'm honest with you. But as I said, that is a quite a hard flavour to nail. Um, but yeah, as far as the cookies in that go, it's really nice. And again, the raspberry jam is, or preserve, whatever you want to call it, 
is phenomenal. Very, very good. They have nailed that sort of jam sort of sensation that you get. It's it's very good. Again, you get the sort of raspberry face, uh, face? raspberry flavour, and then that turns into that jam type flavour, and it's it's really good. Yeah, tastes more like a cream with raspberry jam biscuit to me, um, but it's still pretty decent. That's an easy seven, easy. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent. Right, change the cons, we'll come back and we will try number one, which is mango passion fruit meringue cream. Okay, so a sweet mango and passion fruit topped with crispy meringue and finished with lavishings of thick, fresh, fresh, <laughs> fresh cream. Can't talk today, <laughs> but fresh cream. So mm, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, it smells beautiful. There's something about passion fruit and mango in a, in a smell that's just amazing. It always brings me back to like a tropical beach, you know, like a nice cocktail, something like that. And that, oh, it's like a tropical beach in your nose, it is. Really nice. Mmm. I'm going to be honest with you, when I looked at all of these, this was the one that I thought maybe I wouldn't like that much, but that is very, very good. Tastes exactly as they describe, quite simply. It tastes like a, a tropically fruity meringue with cream. Yeah, it tastes really, really nice. Almost like a tropical eat and mess type thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, really nice. That's, that's another eight. Pretty decent. Right, we'll change these cons. We'll come back and we'll try number two, jam biscuit meringue cream. Okay, so a mouth-wateringly medley of cream, custard, biscuit, and jam topped with fluffy cloud of meringue. This sounds like that biscuit that I was talking about earlier, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, can we see what this is like? Or maybe this is more of a an eat and mess, maybe. But it sounds good, and I'm hoping they've nailed that jam again, because as I say, the other two have been fantastic. Yeah, that that's that tastes like a like a unicorn milk, something like that, you know, strawberries, creams, stuff like that. Um, it's a bit more in depth than that. I will give it that, but compared to the others, and I don't know if that's just because they're using such peculiar flavours in them sort of mixes, it almost seems a bit boring. Um, it's not. It's still very very nice, and I'm happy to vape it all day. But as I say, it just doesn't stand out as much as the other ones now. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It tastes like a, a real eaten mess with a bit of biscuit thrown in there, or a bit of bakery, something like that. But yeah, not bad. I'll give it a seven. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. Right, change gones. We'll try the next one, which is number three, which is lemon blueberry sponge cream. Okay, so a light and moist lemon sponge with juicy sweet blueberries frosted with lush butter cream. Oh. Oh, they know how to make it sound good, didn't they? I'll give them that. <laughs> it sounds absolutely fantastic again. There's no way of saying it. All right, let's try it. That's the best so far. That's a nine straight away. Now I will be a slightly bit more swayed by this one because there is that lemon in there, but that is really nice. That that sort of lemony, creamy flavour they've got going there is is fantastic. It's almost like a lemon mousse almost. It's it's really light and it really refreshing. the bakery side of it is fantastic as well it's not that graham cracker type flavor it is like a almost like a softer shortbready type flavor like uh, yeah it's, it's hard to explain like like a sponge but it's a bit more than a sponge a sponge kind of undersells it a bit if i'm honest with you that's the best one so far i will say the blueberries isn't massively strong it's enough there to let you know it's almost like when you have a blueberry lemonade type flavor you know it's the secondary flavor it's there but it's not not predominant in any way shape or form but it's really nice, and and the the buttercream at the end just leaves you with a nice sweet flavour at the very end. That that's the best one so far. Easy nine.
Oh, yeah. That is absolutely fantastic. Right. Last one to try, and it is number 10, which is orange apricot jam almond pastry. Okay, so this one is a true blend of the Mediterranean. Zesty oranges and juicy apricots encased in a decadent almond pastry. So, yeah, this is like the sort of things you actually see in coffee shops, stuff like that, which... I won't lie, if I ever do get forced to go in one, I will have something like that. Um, definitely wouldn't have a coffee, but I'll have something like that. And I do quite like the old bakery like this. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting if this is like. I've had a few of them in my time, as I'm sure you may tell. So it'd be interesting to see if they're like the real thing. But no real smell coming off this one. I thought it might have been a bit more orangey, but let's give it a go. Okay, this one's a, it's a bit of a slow burner. You kind of initially take a puff on it and it's almost like hmm, there's nothing there. And then all of a sudden, this sort of orange comes over and then it turns into like a sweet jam almost. And then, yeah, the pastry comes through and there is a slight almond flavour. It, it's not as good as some of the others. It, it's, a, it's a seven. That's an easy choice. But the orange is, again, really, really nice. Um, just feel a bit let down with the actual pastry, I guess, is the honest truth. Um, yeah. But it, it's it's still pretty decent. Again, it's it's hard to do a review like this when you've tried some that are so good that when you go back to one that is good, doesn't seem as good as it should be sort of thing. So take it with a pinch of salt, I suppose, is what I can really say. But yeah, um, it's still pretty decent, just not as good as some of the other ones they've got. But again, the orange is, is perfect. It's one of the best orange flavours I've ever tried. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you can still see me. Um, but yes, just been looking on their site now and they're doing some giveaways as well at the moment. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, might be worth having a look. You can win a PlayStation 5, which is always nice. They do loyalty points, stuff like that. They've got some crack car Easter egg codes to get some discount codes, stuff like that. They take an absolute ton of different payment types, which I've never seen so many in my life. I mean, literally, if you've got a way of paying, I'm pretty sure they will accept it. So yeah, that is pretty decent. Um, but yeah, what can I say? Um, overall, I think it's an absolutely fantastic range. It's just quite as simple as that. It's very, very unusual to get a range this big of 10 flavours and for them all to be good, quite simply. Um, it's pretty much unheard of. Even in some of the biggest names I've ever sort of done reviews on, there's normally a couple of stinkers in there. But no, every one of these is perfectly good. If you're only going to try one or you're only interested in trying one to see what you think, I would definitely recommend number one. I can see why it is number one because it is number one out of all of them. Um, but yeah, there's some flavours in there that are really peculiar, stuff like that as well, which I really, really like. Would be very interested to see what their tropical range is, or their cocktail range, I should say, because some of them sound absolutely beautiful. And if I'm honest with you, as good as a bakery range it is, the fruits and the jams and things like that of this range are phenomenal. So I reckon these will be pretty darn decent, assuming they're using their same sort of way of making them as they did with these, because, yeah, the fruits are just very impressive indeed, quite simply. But there's not much else I can really say. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend them. I'd recommend any one of them, if I'm honest with you, which again is quite a, a big thing to say. And what I'd say so far is out of 2022, it's probably the best e-liquid range I have tried. It's really that simple. Yeah, really impressed. And I look forward to vaping on all of them, if I'm honest with you. They're all pretty decent, even the, the slightly odder flavours, which again, I quite like. So yeah, anyway, no point waffling on. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.